to the Let's Talk World here at Chancas Cantina by South Las 1215 South Las Vegas Boulevard. It's by the Thunderbird Hotel. We have a full bar and restaurant here, and we have we actually do our event, our singles night event here every Saturday, where you can do speed dating. Who does is speed dating these days? Only us. Who does blindfold game? Only us. So please come and join us every Saturday night, 6 to 9 p.m. And we, you, we guarantee you, you're gonna have fun because we have so much event. We have like, like we're giving away like um, money to actually use for your drinks. That's amazing. Where you can get that, right? Yeah, we're gonna have like trivia questions. But I'm glad that I am not actually hosting the the whole show because you know what you might I might give you a trivia questions that you won't ever ever answer. <laughs> so anyways as you already know I already answered her earlier this is Melissa Brown red one of the actress of Red Herring and she cannot say if she is a killer or the victim. Let me guess you don't have to say yes or no I just wanna guess. I have to have my poker face. I think uh, you are the victim. Yes. No, you don't have to answer. Yeah. Yeah. My lips are sealed. Yeah. Until, <laughs> until the 14th. And and plus you don't you cannot tell me to because I want to watch it. Mm -hmm. I am I am the kind of person when I'm watching a movie or TV series, I already like looking at the end. So yeah. And if you tell me now, then I'm I'd be like, ah, oh, never mind. I know the end. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, don't tell me. I want to watch it. See, Bobby. I love you so much and Renee but anyway so you moved here two years ago from um, New York what you've been doing before you moved here in New York um, in New York I was bartending uh, for like my survival job and then um, on the side I was doing a lot of theater and then um, actually right before I moved to Las Vegas I did one film and I was just like a small part in it but I was like this is what I want to do. <laughs> like, this is where I really want to do. That's wanna, really like, quick, right? Dream. Yeah, you're like, yeah, this is what I want to do. Because it was just so much energy. And, like, theater has so much energy. I mean, obviously, you have you have to, to, you know, perform in front of an audience. And you have to know an entire script, 60 pages in your head. And, you know, you have to really, like, emote on, on set. But um, when you're on a film set, it's a different type of energy. It's like a more intimate energy because you're really like up close and personal with like the shots. You know, you're you're right here instead of out to the yeah. audience like that. Yeah, and yeah. It was just such a great transition for me because I liked honing in on like being more subtle in my performances. It's really fun. amazing. Yeah. Oh my god. I never even think about that. You know, I am a TV host. I don't. I'm not gonna be ever ever an actress. Well, you never know. <laughs> I know they asked me and I was like, oh, can you just leave me alone behind the camera? I really, I really don't want, uh, uh, three years ago before I start this company, I don't want any camera in my face. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and I'm like, I gotta do it. And this is my company, right? So I gotta do it. But anyway, um, so um, you were a bartending and then you become an actress. Let me ask you this. You don't, you just give me, um, if you don't want to give a certain the, the, the exact um, age number, you can actually, you know, I am early like this or late like this. How, how young are you? Uh, 26. She is like, I am 26 and proud. How is that? I love it. Um, you know, some people doesn't want to give that out, that's why I said that. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. So, 26. So, when you realize that you want to you be an actress, uh, how old are you? Um, like five years old. Oh my god, you were like, you love, you must be loving uh, uh, Miley Cyrus, no Cyrus. I'm, I'm, oh, Miley Cyrus. Yeah, um, what is that lady again that is, I, my kids are young and, uh, and they love all those shows. You know the, those um, TV series, mm -hmm. like Hannah Montana, Hannah and, Montana like that, and, yeah. and then I forgot the other lady who is actually a the girlfriend of, of this kid, this young 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 boy from Canada. What is his name? I don't even know. I'm not sure. Yeah, but anyways, 
So uh, you were watching all those things too, and you were kind of like, hey, I want to be that uh, girl. Oh, yeah, like I was watching um, Hannah Montana and stuff like that when I was a little younger, but the thing that really made me want to be a performer was I was watching a ballet once on, um, I was like three, four years old, like that was um, on the screen in like my living room, and I was like, mom, I want to do that, <laughs> and I started taking dance classes when I was like uh, four or five years old, what's that, what's that in con uh, contortion, so I, what is I, contortion? Um, it's like Cirque du Soleil, um, the people who are like super flexible and oh, they yes, yes. Like, can make themselves into pretzels and stuff. That was what I did for a super long time and then I got into like ballet and everything else. I went to school at the American Musical and Dramatic Academy in New York and just kind of took off with everything from there. And just started doing like you, Melissa. You're so everything. young, you're gonna get there and oh my god, this pretty woman. I wanted her to be on the freaking TV series that we are making. Honestly, she would be. Oh well, yeah, it's comedy skits. Okay, that's fun. Yeah, I know. So you are um, you are permanently here, or you're just moving back and forth to LA? Um, well, like I will go back and forth to LA to like uh, do certain projects and stuff like that. But um, for the most part, just here in Vegas. Yeah. Are you on IMDb as well? Yeah, I'm on IMDb. Uh, you can find me at uh, Melissa Marie Brown on IMDb or on Instagram and Twitter at Bliss, B-L-I-S-S underscore B-K underscore. So, um, oh, you know what? I actually uh, have those things. But anyways, so um, I, was ask, I was asking Katharina earlier, what do, uh, what do you love about acting? So how about you? What do you love about acting? Oh my gosh, I'm sorry that the Selena song just came on right now and I was... <laughs> this was my favorite song when I was this little. Celine Dion? This is Selena. From, uh, she's the very famous Mexican singer. And she's a singer actually. Oh, oh my god, yeah. I'm sorry, there was yeah, just yeah, like yeah. kismet. Oh no, 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 You know, we have our moments and I, you know, you, you know, you, you just felt at that moment. And I believe yeah. in deja vu and everything too. So mm -hmm. I'm like, yeah, don't actually. I'm hold on. I no, I don't. I don't love it. I know you guys caught that. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. This is like what my dad used to sing to me when I was oh little. No. And stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> is your dad still alive? Yes. Yeah, he is. Yeah. Hi, dad. <laughs> yeah, he's in New York. Hi. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, what I love about acting is just that I get to. I, mean, I love this song now. Mm -hmm. It's so beautiful. It's beautiful. It is really I think I heard it before too, so go ahead. Yeah, um, I, I really just love seeing the world through another person's eyes. Like when I take on a character, I try to go back to their birth, like and really go through how their life would have been and imagine it so that I can make decisions basically on their behalf that make sense in, in the film. And I really so like do you, to... So do you research, you kind of like study the... Because I know they, they said that when you are acting, you have this, you're gonna put yourself in that position. Mm -hmm. Like you need you need that moment right now and like if you let's say you're you're a victim, you're gonna put your your mentality and everything to be a victim right now. I think I cannot do that part because I will never ever be a victim. Oh, nakanun. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> we're talking about red herring, so yeah, no, not that kind, okay? But anyway, so you're gonna put yourself in the stage, I think it's stage uh, acting. Is that what they do with that, what they call it? Oh, oh, uh, method acting? Method acting, yeah, there you yeah. go. Do you guys do that method acting where you, do you do that a lot? I try to use like, um, a, a couple of different techniques, but the main technique that I kind of follow is method acting. But it's not any of the crazy stuff like Jared Leto sending like a rat to his co-stars. Real um, method acting is like you actually put yourself in somebody else's shoes, and, yeah, and you try to think how they would feel and how they would act in certain situations, and try to uh, portray that you know as truthfully as possible under the circumstances. That would be so hard. It's, you know what, it's really hard at first, but once you get into it, you start using your imagination more with it, and it really becomes fun, and it becomes a way to kind of view the world differently. Like, even just, you know, in my regular life, I try to see things from other people's perspective to get a better understanding of what's going on. 
and I think that that helped me and that's something that my parents taught me when I was really little you know put yourself in somebody else's shoes thank you mom and dad yeah <laughs> you know oh, so you're gonna go in the method acting and then you once once the scene is done how can you get out with that feeling that I think that's the part that's hard <laughs> oh man no um it's a lot of work and you have to you have to go to therapy and you have to make sure that you're you know cool when you get out of a certain role because especially you know somebody like Joaquin Phoenix who's doing a role like uh, like he did in the Joker you spend so much time in that role that when you come out of it you're like you kind of don't know yourself in little ways yeah and you have that's to really what I take that self-care and to be like okay I need to you know make sure oh, that yeah. I'm good mentally yeah. before I you go know, back into something else you know what uh, if I'm gonna be an actress you know what I would really wanna actually as a, my role is a bitch because I wanna I don't wanna get out from that method acting after <laughs> But that's, that's the only role that I'm gonna take. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be the, uh, you know, I'm, I'm gonna be the supporting actress all the time. Mm -hmm. No, drama. Have you guys watched um, uh, Prada? Yes. Something uh, Prada? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I love, I love. Oh, who is that? Meryl. Uh, Meryl Streep. Meryl. Oh, Meryl she's my fr amazing. freaking favorite actress of all time. I just totally like love her acting and also I love the Maleficent with um, Angelina Jolie yeah, yeah. 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 humans are hilarious yeah. <laughs> I use yeah. that a lot like I, I I use that a lot on my Facebook post by the way humans are hilarious and like who are you I'm a vampire but anyways <laughs> the, yeah I love those so if I'm gonna do an acting I want my role to be a bitch so that when I go on my method, I'm not gonna have a hard time going to meth method uh, acting, and I am, I don't have any problem getting it, getting out from that. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Yes, that would be so fun. <laughs> but they don't give you that. Oh, this is one of my questions. This is a question for you, Bobby, actually. But I think you might know that. So, uh, that, do you uh, do you accept roles? that literally you can do or you challenge yourself to get something that you haven't been done or you're not it's not you um for me personally i try to do a little bit of everything i uh, i really want to expand my repertoire to just play every single type of character there is because for me i'm like i want to just keep learning i want to challenge myself and i want to grow as a performer and you can't do that if you're just doing the same thing all the time so yes yeah it's it's really important to me to like expand my repertoire and, and get a little bit of everything under my belt oh my god that brings us to let's actually do um acting really good i'm not gonna act you're gonna act okay so uh the scene would be um let's take the scene with uh with have you watched the maleficent no, I haven't oh, seen sure. the new one yet. I've seen the the first the one. first one. Yeah. Oh, but oh, you should watch it. You should <laughs> watch it. I can watch it over and well, I really don't. I watch how they react when they're a bitch. You should, we shouldn't do that, but but you know, I'm a good person though. But uh, let's uh, let's uh, do uh, kind of like we what raw. Give me some acting that you've done in the past. Just uh, maybe two liner. Okay. Yeah. Um, there is a monologue from Better Call Saul with Rhea Seahorn in it, um, mm -hmm. and she's she's incredible. Mm -hmm. um, and that's when she finds out. I don't know if you've watched the show Better Call Saul, no. but um, she finds out um, that, um, or well, she doesn't find out, but um, one of the brothers or one of the. Uh, Excuse me. <laughs> one of My the brain is going off. Well, one of the right yeah, one of the character. Yeah, one of the characters comes um, to her boyfriend's house basically, mm -hmm. and um, and he um, is telling him that he thinks that his brother killed himself, and this is on the day of his brother's funeral. Mm -hmm. So afterwards, she comes back to him. And he's like in the law firm. It's a it's a whole story. You gotta, yeah, <laughs> you yeah. gotta watch the show, but this is I will watch um, the show now. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> so <laughs> let, let's let's act one of the scene. Okay. No, <laughs> you actually, not me. <laughs> 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 
I, um, I just had to know, what were you thinking? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> what were you thinking when you went to your bro- when you went to Jimmy's house the day of his brother's funeral and laid that shit on him? That Chuck killed himself? What's wrong with you? Well, I thought actually he's gonna leave. <laughs> Is that good? <laughs> That's enough. Yeah, that, You'll have to watch my reel she, for the rest. Yeah, she's she's really good. She's like, she, I, I got scared and then I I put myself on it. It's just acting. Like I was like, oh hold on. I don't know what happened to I, him. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what? No, I thought I. I I'm, I killed him by the way. But anyways. <laughs> Thank you so much, Melissa, for being sport on the show. Thank you so much. Oh for my God, this here. is amazing, and I really wanted to uh, get have you back uh, soon if you can. <laughs> yeah, I, for I, sure. because you see, we have um, we call it Entertainment Sunday Jam. So we have like three performers, three sing, um, and all you guys are watching right now. If you guys want to be on the show, like they sing two to three songs cover or original, it's up to them. Okay. And it's uh, live in real time. That's amazing. That's every Sunday just to let you know, 4 p.m. And it's yes. under studio. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's amazing. But anyways, thank you so much. Where they can find you? Uh, yeah, if you want to find me on uh, social media, it's at BlissBK, uh, B-L-I-S-S underscore BK underscore on Instagram and Twitter. And um, you can find me on IMDB at Melissa Marie Brown. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you so much, viewers. We have more guests coming up, and I uh, want to save the best for last. Uh, because you guys are going to be like, oh, she's back. Um, this lady, too, is amazing. And you are amazing. And Thank I, you so much for me. I, I cannot wait to, uh, to watch Red Herring coming up when? Uh, yeah, Red Herring comes out May 14th on YouTube. It's going to premiere weekly after that. And um, it's on Vimeo right now if you want to watch it. So. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Is the trailer only or the whole thing? It's the trailer and the five episodes, but you have to pay for the five episodes. But if you want to watch it, yeah. it's oh, there. <laughs> I'm going to go and get it now. I'm not going to wait for this. I cannot wait, Bobby Peoples. <laughs> but anyways, thank you so much. Thank, thank you so you. much. And see you guys in a minute. This looks like a crime of passion. In 48 hours, I will be dead. When was the last time you seen this woman? I saw you watching me, so next time I see you, I'm gonna call the cops. Well, clearly Amina suffered from Munchausen. Munchausen? A fictitious disorder imposed on self. And why do you think he's stalking? People admire what they can't have. What we would like to know is where you were at 4.30 p.m. yesterday. Um, I was with, I was with my friends. We were watching the game. Thank you for watching Let's Talk World. I hope you enjoyed our future guests for the day. Please visit us on socialmediashows.com, subscribe on our channel on YouTube, and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Periscope. Don't forget to share and like and comment on our show. Thank you so much and I'll see you guys again next week.